Since starting this YouTube channel just a few months ago, I had no idea that I'd be able to make this video so soon. But after Henley qualifiers, it became a reality and I knew that I had to bring you the best video I possibly could. So I really hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for being a part of this journey. I've been wondering Would you watch me slip away? Would you watch me fall in silence? Would you watch me fall in silence? So we've stayed in Henley since qualifiers, having sessions on the regatta course and getting used to the new river and staying in this beautiful house which is just in a nearby town. We've been cooking meals for each other, sort of having a lot of crew bonding and it's been a great few days to be honest. We've also found out that we've been drawn against last year's finalist, NSR Oslo. Now, this is not ideal. <laughs> we're obviously really up against it and we're definitely underdogs. They're going to be an incredibly fast crew, uh, but all we can do is give it our best. We feel like we've got a good start, so if we can set off hard, uh, maybe we can get in their heads and make them question the race, and you know, maybe we can pull something off. Either way, it doesn't change anything. We still have to give 100% to try and give our best account of ourselves and maybe even pick up a win.
three o'clock a couple of hours before we race and to be honest this is probably the most nervous I've ever been before a race. <laughs> And we move back down to the start now for the start of the Thames Challenge Cup. In the Bucks station on the left hand side, NSR Oslo from Norway. On the right hand side in the Bucks station, it's Royal Chester Rowing Club B. Unfortunately, this time we couldn't come back with the win. Despite posting our fastest time to the barrier and overall having a really strong row, we just came up against an MSR Oslo crew that were just better and faster than us. They're really, really strong rowers and are likely to go all the way in the Thames. They're going to be one of the favourites to win and Norway. there's no shame in taking a half Very comfortable in victory over the Royal Chester I wouldn't change anything about the performance and I'm really happy with what I offered and what the crew gave. So that was my experience competing at my first ever Henley Regatta. I couldn't have had a better group of people to share it with. And honestly, I think I got the full Henley experience. Like I still got to row down the river on the course. I got to compete against an incredibly strong crew. I got to hear the crowds. I got to be on a drone. Like I had everything that I wanted and I'm really satisfied with what happened, but it has sort of motivated me to push my rowing on and try and you know carry it forward and get better year on year so you might be wondering what's going to happen to the videos obviously the henley prep season is over and also the rowing season is over um, so what i'm going to do is i'm here in henley for the next week i'm going to try and get some footage and i'll put out a video next week which hopefully gives you more of an idea of what i'm going to be doing next obviously there's a lot of change coming up in my own life i've got university to finish and then got to find a job wherever that takes me around the country i might be moving back towards my home or i might be moving somewhere new which obviously means a change in rowing club and my own training so next video i'll give you more of an update on what's going to happen with me i really i've really enjoyed putting these videos together and i think the last few have definitely been the best that i've ever done i hope you've enjoyed them and if you have then please give it a like share it with some other rowers that you know uh, the channel's grown so much and i'm so grateful for it uh, but i think we can still push it further so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video